There's something magical about Toy Story. You know, I've always wondered what gives the toys their life, their magic, their consciousness. In Toy Story 4, we see the Spork character, just made out of a spork and these eyes and a few other pieces, come to life, wake up, have a consciousness. And so you have to wonder, is all it takes for a child to declare to themselves that this is now a toy, a plaything, a character? Does that very thought and action bring consciousness into the world for these entities, for these beings? What are the parameters of this magic? And does that mean that every snowman made by a child wakes up to this world like the spork, only to slowly melt out of existence or be kicked and broken? Do they feel that pain? It's such a terrible, depressing existence if you think about it. And what was the first sentient toy, the first toy that came to life through this magic? Did some caveman carve a stone? Did the kid that he had play with it in the cave? Did that stone have a consciousness? Did it come alive like these toys do? And is that stone still awake today, lost and buried somewhere deep under the earth for a long, long period of time? Will it continue to live out that existence into the earth is devoured by the sun? Just something to think about my friends.